a good writer before I found tarot, sure. But after I found these magical, wondrous cards, I became even better. Hi, I'm Jennifer Gregson, a tarot book coach that helps writers bust through blocks, deal with imposter syndrome, and develop a deeper relationship with their characters so they can finish their novels all with a smile on their face. We've probably all seen that meme or at least felt that feeling where we're in the shower and we get great ideas, right? The meme says, writer in the shower, brilliant ideas, writer driving, uh, new character created. But then when you sit down to write, it's like, come on brain, think of things, right? Nothing. We've all experienced that. One of the things that Tarot helps me become a better writer is by getting me out of my own head. We all get stuck in our own little comfort zones, our own little ways of doing things. Tarot helps me break free of that and sort of helps me think of things that I might not have thought of before. Tarot for sure has helped me time and time again come up with ideas and not just for novels, but with my novels, it has helped me come up with ideas for character, plot, conflict, um, problems with scenes. Like sometimes I get stuck and I don't know what to do. Bam, pull a tarot card. And I can usually get some idea, something, some way of moving forward, even if it's not the perfect thing, right? Sometimes we have to fix things in editing, but it helps me keep going. It keeps me from being stuck. And the way it helps me when I'm not writing novels is by coming up with YouTube content, Instagram content, helping me write email sequences for my business, helping me with newsletter ideas. It really can help you with ideas for almost anything. So in the comments below, let me know if you'd like to see a video about the other ways I use tarot when it comes to writing. And speaking of creating characters, which is one of the things I teach, and I have a whole free training about this if you go to the link down below in the description box, but it also helps me develop stronger, deeper connections, even friendships with my characters, even the villains. It helps me communicate with them in a new way. Usually when I choose characters or I create characters, I pick a tarot card, either by going through the deck and actually finding a card, like this is a great example, right? This is a perfect card that I would choose maybe for a character. Um, the knights are very action oriented. They're sort of young adult age, which is what I write. So this is actually a perfect example. But let's say I just randomly chose the king of wands, right? I will keep this card handy for when I'm writing. Sometimes I talk to this card, sometimes like through journaling, I can create a persona of my characters so that I can really get into their heads. I can find out their likes. I can find out their dislikes. Sometimes that helps me with character development. Sometimes it helps me move the plot forward, right? Like they live in a certain city, but they hate it. That will give me some insight into their characterization. So I use tarot to help me really develop a relationship, a friendship with my characters so that I can tell their story. And speaking about creating a relationship, I have a relationship with my inner editor. I have a whole video about this, but you want to choose a tarot card to sort of personify that inner voice that you have. And mine is this guy. Now he's changed over the years. We have a much better relationship now, but this is who I started with, this sort of gatekeeper, the one with all the secrets, the one that had to be right. This was my card. and. I use this card for years to journal, to talk to, and develop a relationship with my inner editor so that I can get them on board to be friends. I can get them to help, not hinder. So if you want that video, um, I'll drop it in the box below, or you can also find it at the end of this video. The next way that tarot helps me be a better writer is it encourages me when times are tough. Things are not always rosy when it comes to writing. Sometimes we feel defeated. Sometimes we get blocked for a couple of days. Sometimes our characters are just real butt munches and they don't do what we want them to do. Sometimes we just get to a part and we don't know how to get ourselves out, right? We paint ourselves into corners or we just can't see how to end the stupid thing. I mean, 
hit the like button if you have ever cried over a draft or a character doing something stupid because hello i have and tarot can help us see the big picture tarot can help me specifically see how far i've come how much i've already accomplished when i'm feeling low sometimes i go to the deck i'm just using the rider weight smith deck here it's sort of the starter deck um, don't ever let anybody tell you that it's not a perfectly good deck it's the best oh so the magician hello right here the magician is telling me that i am magical that i have all of the tools at my disposal this is a great card to encourage you to keep going. You can reach for the stars. You can keep one hand on the ground. You can keep yourself grounded. You can use this card for beautiful imagery, but it can also just be your sort of beacon to keep going. I am the magician. I am an amazing writer and I can keep going, reaching for my dreams, making me push forward. So let this be a lesson for you. And in that same vein, tarot has definitely become sort of my writing coach. Yes, I am, my, I am a writing coach. Yes, I have a beautiful editor who I adore. I have a wonderful writing group that I'm a part of that gives me encouragement. But sometimes you want to be able to rely on yourself. Sometimes you're having that panic at 3 a.m. over your draft and you can't reach out to another human. But your cards are always there for you. So let's see what they have to say. Page of Wands, keep that fiery energy, keep that passion close. Feel your feet on the ground. Know that you are in a safe space. Know that you have dreams, that you are growing. Look at that little leaf. Those leaves are growing on that wand. He's tending to them. He's being very cautious with that wand in his hand. Know that your book project is precious, that I see it, that you should see it as precious, but know that you have bigger things. You have those mountains in that background to conquer. And that is how I use tarot to be my writing coach. Sometimes you just need that little burst of inspiration. You need someone to tell you you are doing a good job and it's not always easy to find those people, but tarot can be that for you. Tarot helps me get out of my own head it helps me see things, connect new things, figure out how to fix problems in both my book and in my writing life. Combining the magical tool of tarot with the just innate knowledge I have about writing has definitely taken my writing from pretty good to pretty awesome. And I think it can do the same for you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I can either make another video to help you or I can comment back. And if you think, hey, tarot's pretty cool, I would love to learn more, then join the waitlist for my signature course, Turn On The Tap, which is coming this June. You can find the link in the description box below. I hope you have a lovely day. If this has helped you, please subscribe to my channel. I do videos every other week for writers.